Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here today, coming at you guys with another TFGO video and doing a Season 3 roster preview of what is to come, again, in this third season of the TFGO League, following our second consecutive Super Bowl title with the Seattle Seahawks, and showing you guys a little bit of what we've had to adjust and revitalize with this roster following the retirement of head coach Pete Carroll, our starting running back and reigning MVP Marshawn Lynch, and starting left tackle and perennial pro bowler Dwayne Brown. Had to replace him with another Brown by the name of Trent Brown. 91 strength, 79 pass block, 73 run block, 73 impact block. Not the greatest left tackle replacement in the world, but I feel like with what I had to work with, he was the best option out there for me personally, I felt like. So I was pretty happy with it. The rest of the offensive line is pretty solidified. I think all of those guys have actually gotten to the Pro Bowl at least once, so they've gotten their upgrades very well over the past two seasons. And Hernandez was a rookie, so you know he actually got a, a huge boost following a great 2018 campaign. And now onto the receiving core. And this was something I really tried to work on last year and the year before that because I wanted to fix it up a little bit. Ended up shipping Paul Richardson out. Uh, no longer is Tyra Lockett a part of this team. And obviously Jermaine Curse in real life wasn't either. So I had to really make some adjustments. We ended up trading for Ron Randall Cobb. Jerron Brown made the Pro Bowl and got quick dev. And Amari Darbo has been a solid depth guy for us. So we will look to make a free agent addition actually at receiver as well. I did trade for Braxton Miller. Ended up cutting him to create space for a new player we're going to add. That's a little bit going to provide a more specific role than Braxton would have. And Walter Grove at the halfback spot is going to provide another offensive weapon for us that is going to replace Marshawn Lynch, hopefully as successfully as he was. Probably not going to be as easy to do that because just a different play style of halfback. However, with a very strong offensive line, I still think that we're going to be okay running the football. Chris Carson is another guy that if things don't pan out with Grove early on, you can always switch, swap him in uh, for, you know, if he's tired or as a starter. He can really fill both those roles. McKissick, a great pass catching back, and Rock Chalk, Gangcock Thomas to provide a little bit of depth there at number four in the halfback depth chart. So, so switching on to the defensive side of the football, the backup for Bobby Wagner will be Tuiasa, as it, DJ Alexander was the guy we had there for two years, I believe two years, and he was really pretty solid. I mean, he was very fast, was able to move side to side, a great user player. And this guy's just kind of another version of that, except a little bit better in coverage, uh, younger, not quite the hitter that Alexander was, but he actually does have the big hitter trait, which is nice. Uh, but I think he's going to fill his role very nicely. Garvin has been a phenomenal weak side guy. It really kind of surprised me. I thought that was going to be a position of concern, but I've kind of realized I haven't had to use the base packages too much anyways, and because the front has been as upgraded as it has been with our defense and defensive line, haven't had to really have these linebackers do too much. Um, and Jordan Anderson right here is a safety I drafted. Really like what I got out of him to be a potential Cam Chancellor replacement, both for the future years, if we were going to play future years in this league, and for when he's tired. He's a great replacement for that. TJ Carey actually will be replacing Eric Rowe as the number two cornerback, which is kind of shocking because we actually traded for him um, and Trey Flowers and I believe a pick maybe for that Richard Sherman deal a season ago. So that was a little bit of a loss on our behalf, but getting Trey Flowers was a really nice replacement for Michael Bennett. Tony Brown right here, very fast guy coming back again. He can fill a, a number of roles really. Justin Coleman is an excellent nickel guy that we got. Shaquille Griffin will be back for the number one spot as per usual in the last two seasons. And we actually end up drafting Fisher Conrad, who's a speedster as well. So that's going to be pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with the defensive cornerbacks because in general, I'm not doing anything too complex with my guys out there. I'm not going to try to run a, a ton of stuff where I'm going to put a ton of faith in them to give me phenomenal coverage for a lot of different areas. They're just going to be pretty basic in what they want, what they do. Obviously, I'm going to mix it up, but I think that they'll be good with what I'm going to ask of them. Now on the defensive line, the big move I really made was getting rid of Jaron Reed. You know, he was the number two defensive tackle, the run stuffing guy, the big strength dude in the middle. And Azair Jones will be filling that spot now at 6'5", 300 plus pounds, 87 strength, 86 block shed. I think he'll be pretty good there. BJ Hill will provide depth. Sheldon Richardson can get after the quarterback and stop the run. Frank Clark and Flowers are both great run stuffers and really strong at defensive ends. I'm pretty happy about what I got going there. We'd like to add one more pass rushing defensive end in free agency. 
and Tauchu will work that left side on third downs very nicely. So that will be the conclusion of the video, actually, believe it or not. Uh, just wanted to give you a quick recap of what we're going to be working with in season number three, hopefully looking to three-peat. It's been a ton of fun these last two years. Hopefully we can finish off the third year very strong, and it's going to be hopefully an extremely fun season for everybody involved. But once again, that will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Yep, thanks for watching.